In this video, we're going to cover how to build a French drain system. We're going to show you that not all drain systems are created equal and why our blueprint will get you the highest results in yard drainage. The advantages to having holes 360 degrees all the way around the pipe is you can take water in from 360 degrees. You can fill this area, this giant void that this pipe creates. You can lay this on the bottom of the trench. I don't have to worry about the bottom holes or bottom inlets getting compromised because I have eight total inlets going all around the pipe. Making this pipe superior to pipes with just holes on the bottom. I can't stress that enough. Another really important detail to building the very best French drain system is to remove all that poor percolating soil. You do not want to put any of that soil back in the trench. Too many times a trench is dug for a French drain system and a pipe is put at the bottom of it. Some stone covers the pipe and then the dirt is pushed right back in. You don't want to do that. You want to get rid of all that dirt. You're not going to put any of it back in. It'll only slow down the drainage process and it'll compromise your French drain system. For this reason, we do not use a trencher. We use a track hoe or mini excavator like you see here in the video. We scoop the dirt out and we're putting it right into a skid loader bucket to run it to a dump truck to get it hauled off the site. A trencher just leaves the dirt mounded up next to the trench. If you dig out a big enough trench, you're going to catch all the sheet water that comes off driveways and neighboring properties. Here we have some landscape built in the drain easement. This is quite common. We run a French drain right through the affected areas. The water lays right up against this berm. There is no way that it can drain to the storm drain in the backyard. We're going to give the water a nice clear path. We're going to evacuate the water also from the backyard because the same problem is happening on the inside of the yard as the outside of the yard. We have water that's being shed off the patio down to this landscape bed and the water is just left to lie up against this bermed up bed area. We're going to have a French drain on both sides and we're going to merge the two French drains together and take them to the storm drain. You can see we do not have dirt piled up next to the trench. Again, that's because we used a track hoe or mini excavator opposed to a trencher. A trencher just piles that dirt to the side of the trench. I get asked all the time because perforated pipe has holes in it, how does the water stand? People have the misconception that the water is just going to fall out as easy as it went in. So the best way that I can explain this water moves through void so to make this drain move more water instead of just putting in all stone we want to put in these two giant voids that's what these two four inch pipes create this giant void now the water will go in the perforated pipe it'll move back and forth water seeks level however high it is in one pipe it'll be that height in the other the water will fall in, fall out, however you want to envision that. The water is going to fill up in the bottom of the trench, the same way a drinking glass fills up with water. You pour the water in the glass and it fills up from the bottom up. The water is going to move through the void that you create. So that's why we like to run a double barrel like you see here. We're going to have more void at the bottom of the trench. Now we like to not put stone under our pipe because I want to drain this out completely we're going to attach these pipes to a storm drain so instead of putting our pipe on the mud in the clay and then just putting our stone up against the dirt you're going to have during the rainy season you're going to have this dirt you're going to have this mud it's going to work its way into the voids of the stone so 
Our advice is to not just lay a pipe in a dirt trench, throw the stone in, and then you're going to let the soil granulars over time will work their way into the voids of the stone. Once the stone is plugged up, you're not going to get any water in the pipe. The pipe doesn't have to be plugged. If the drainage aggregate that's assisting the water to the pipe ends up plugged, you're done. We recommend using a heavy duty drainage fabric that has been double punched. You wanna make sure you have a really good non-woven geotextile filter fabric. This is different from Weed Barrier. It's not the same. Make sure you get a good drainage fabric. This will add to the cost of your project. A good drainage fabric comes at a price. And you can see that there's labor involved and putting in this non-woven geotextile filter fabric. I think a lot of contractors fatten their bottom line by eliminating this labor process and the expense of material to building a good French drain. Now your discharge line will be solid pipe in a lot of cases. So you're gonna to wanna to save that dirt so you can put it back in. And where you're building a French drain you're going to want to use a really nice round rock. I recommend an inch and a half in diameter. I recommend for your discharge lines, any solid lines in any drain system, using the high octane armor pipe. It's the strongest pipe in the world, and it's the heaviest corrugated pipe, period. Nobody builds anything anywhere near as heavy duty, as extra heavy duty, as the high octane solid armor pipe that you see Francisco hooking up to the storm drain catch basin. This process is what is referred to as a core and tap. You core a hole through a storm drain catch basin and you connect a pipe to it known as a tap. You can see this beautiful inch and a half round rock has a lot of void. It's gonna move a lot of air. The more pipe and the more stone you have in your French drain, the more air you're gonna have circulating through your French drain, and the faster you're gonna dry out your yard. Now make sure to always use hydraulic concrete when you're doing a storm drain core and tap on a concrete culvert pipe. This is code and this is required. Hydraulic concrete sets up really, really fast, so when you're working with it, do not hesitate. Make sure to mix it and put it in place. And again, the super, super flexible, extra heavy-duty, high-octane armor pipe is ideal for yard drains. Its flexibility gives it all kinds of versatility and so many different serpentined, arcing, curving situations and yet it gives you the strength that you need to have a system that's going to last forever. Now as long as you have an automatic irrigation system you can grow turf grass right on top of this system. You're going to want to have fabric on top of the system. The roots will grow through the fabric and any surface water will drain into the French drain through capillary action the large inlets in high octane eight slot allow for mineral buildup where other perforated pipe would be plugged and compromised. This will keep working for decades and decades. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. And if there's a video you want me to make, please leave that suggestion in the comments section. I'm Robert Sherwood, your host. And until that next video, 